The fascinating history of our greatest building has been revealed in its full glory. The Opera House is about to turn 45 and to celebrate some rare and remarkable film has been restored. From an eyesore to an icon. Some say it's wonderful, others think it's dreadful. This weekend marks 45 years since the opening of the Opera House. To celebrate, long forgotten clippings were released today by the National Film and Sound Archive. The Sydney Opera House has captured the imagination of the world. The opening watched by an estimated one million people, seen here in rare home video, lining the foreshore, the Queen battling the harbour breeze, later joined by Prime Minister Gough Whitlam for the first performance. In 1954, the Government of New South Wales decided to build a music centre on the site of a disused tram depot at Benelong Point on Sydney Harbour, to be known as the Sydney Opera House. It took 14 years to finish, from foundations to the beginnings of the theatre bowl. Then the arrival of the sails washed and lifted into place inside hand-carved woodwork. The grand organ, here still wrapped in plastic, construction delays meant it wasn't played until six years after the Opera House opened. By then, its sales were known the world over. Cameron Price, 7 News.